Hello everyone, welcome back to another session of Dark Souls PvP and another weapon showcase. This time I am using the heaviest weapon in the game, Smo's Hammer, and I gotta say, this thing is surprisingly good. I didn't have as hard of a time with this thing as I thought I would have. It hits really hard. I mean, it should, considering it's the heaviest weapon in the game, and it does roughly, on average, like 500-ish damage for me, except on this guy. And you can see him over there doing his little look skyward thing. So, yeah. Um, really, I think it was kind of strange I wasn't doing as much damage as I was typically. Like, this guy, I don't know, modded armor perhaps? I mean, he is max level. So that's probably got a bit to do with it, higher defenses and all, but really going from hitting solid 500s and 600s to set, or to 420s, and really that's the lowest I've ever hit with this thing, a, th a 284, that's, that's kind of ridiculously low. But anyway, that all aside, Smo's Hammer, it's got a weight of 28 units, when you hit someone with it, every time, even if you hit their shield, you gain 10 health per hit. Which really isn't that much, but it still it helps a little bit, I guess. I have barely won a fight or two because of it, but really it's not that noticeable. Um, really, it's a fun weapon to use. Now, this weapon, the downsides, they're more apparent, so I'm going to go over the cons for it first. The biggest con of this weapon is actually a toss-up, in my opinion, between the massive strength requirement to wield it one-handed, being 58 strength, and the massive weight that this thing has, being 28 weight. It's ridiculous. The size and weight and requirements to wield this weapon are ridiculous, just like the fact that that guy was max level. And the message he sent me. I mean, come on, dude. Come on. Ugh. People. People. But, yeah. It happens. I guess people don't like being beaten by such a obscure weapon. Um, so, yeah. The cons for it, I'd say it's a toss-up between the massive 58 strength or massive 28 weight. Uh, the moveset, though, it's actually pretty fun and has a good amount of reach to it. Now, right here, I actually was trying to get into a little Fight Club mosh pit-like thing down in here with War Child and some people, and I got summoned by someone else, and, well, I ran into a friend. <laughs> Should be expected, but I had to upload this because they told me not to, and... Yeah, I'm a bad listener, I guess. Anyway, gotta like that glowing blue hair. Gotta love it. It's so cool. Huh. Anyway, getting distracted from the weapon. Now, the pros for this weapon are the move set. You have its rolling attack, the two-handed rolling attack, which cannot be parried. I guess actually maybe it can be, but it's really hard. You gotta be right on or something like that. I don't know. Apparently it can be parried, according to some people. Apparently it can't, according to others. I don't know. You also have its R2 attacks, which the one-handed R2 is pretty good. I had some pretty good success with it, and right there, I almost, I almost died on that. I would have died if I hadn't gotten in for that backstab. And, you know, because I just beat a friend with a weapon she told me I couldn't beat her with, I had to be a bit of a jerk, so yeah, give him a nice or give her a nice little wave and get out of there. So that's all from that little fight club thing that I was in. Um, I didn't have much footage other than me getting my ass handed to me, and yeah, no one needs to see more of that. That yeah, that's not important to the weapon. If you want to see me get destroyed, I'll make a video of it at some point in time. Although I kind of already did with my fights against the Lady and Martyr's Brigade, didn't I? I'm getting distracted again. I am sorry. I am sorry. So, the pros of the weapon. The moveset, I would definitely consider a pro. 
downfall of it though is the swing speed. Although you can get some nice little combos like that right there, that roll attack into the backstab. Oh, such a nice little combo, and I get it quite a few times. It's surprisingly easy to pull off, so I do like it. Another thing I really like about this weapon is that people don't know how to fight against it. They try and trade hits. And I don't know why you would try and trade hits with it. I mean, just look at the thing. It's massive. You don't want to try and trade hits with something like that. It's like what I was talking about before in my Great X video. Car versus truck. Truck's gonna win. And, yeah, that's just the way it works, especially with this thing. It's got a pretty good stun ability, too. I mean, it's got a really good stun ability, actually. I definitely think that's one of the better aspects about it. The R2s are definitely up there, especially the one-handed R2. It throws people off and can dead angle extremely easily. But really, the... What was I saying? The, the stun ability of this weapon is what really makes it a good weapon and viable in PvP. And right there, like I was saying, those R2 attacks, they can throw people off. He did not expect that. I guarantee he did not expect to get shot backwards for 800 damage and pancaked. And we all know I like my pancakes, and yeah. Altogether, this is a pretty fun weapon. It's surprisingly viable in PvP. You don't have to fast roll to be able to use a weapon, guys. That's one of the main things I want you to take away from this. You don't need to fast roll. So, yeah. Overall, I'd say it's a good weapon. I would recommend it. And... To just quickly recap, pros, you got your move set, even though it's somewhat slow, I'd say that's a pro. You have your stun ability, and you've got your massively huge reach. Cons, you've got the weight being 28 units, heaviest weapon in the game. So good luck fast rolling with this thing. I know it's possible, I know it's possible, but I'm not going to bother ever trying to do that. You also have its, um, what's it called? Strength requirement to wield it being 58 strength. And you have the slow swing speed. So, really the moveset can be considered both a pro and a con, which is typical, it just depends on preference. Like always. So, yeah, that's all I've really got to say. Enjoy the rest of the fight, thank you for watching, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And thank you for watching again. I will see you next time.